Again, he qualifies well, but just producing when it comes head to head, just some uh, maybe pushing too hard. So talking about pushing too hard, this gentleman always pushes hard. Chelsea to Nova, Pennzoil, oh Mustang, RTR, Spec oh. 5 FD. Big, nasty initiation. He knows this track like the back was in. Holy cow, look at the cotton rolling out the back of this Ford Mustang. I mean, it is just billowing here. He does knock over that second inside clip. Look at the transition and the, the angle there. The pizza discs go round and just rolling cold. E wow. Every, every time that we would have a discussion about trying to very robustly define X Factor as part of the scoring criteria, this man's name always came up because he's always doing something that just seems like a point of difference amongst the other drivers, whether it's a very unique and aggressive approach to initiation like this, swinging down low, going, throwing it right up against the wall, maintaining that distance to the wall all the way through, S snappy transition back around from one to two, getting a little bit tight there, right? You just talked about maybe pushing a little bit too hard. Look at the smoke cloud billowing. Unbelievable amount of wheel speed while still maintaining momentum, while maintaining the appropriate angle. And notice how he starts low. He basically drives towards the wall and then throws the car into drift, catches it, whatever, six inches away from that outside zone, and then holds it there. So, yes, okay, he hits the inside clip two. He gets into outside zone two a little bit late. But are you not entertained? Yeah, no, absolutely. He, he did a great job there. A little too aggressive on that second inside clip. Looks like he almost just hit right of center. Uh, on that front RTR grill. The Type S LED lights are on. You can see those turbo fans, those discs out back. They're running a high offset wheel, so I didn't want a flush look. So you see how, how you know, disrupted that front bumper was. And no, I don't know if you noticed, but on the D-cell lights, they never really went away from green through the transition area, which is totally Chelsea DeNofa. It basically just means he's, yeah, he's floored all the way through and it, the clutch is out. <laughs> All right, here we go, 94, 94.0. So he does not get the number one spot, but just behind Ryan Turk with a 94 X Factor, nine, 10, and eight. So that averages obviously to a nine. Wow, the Robbie nice, Nishida the, says, the yo, nice shit, give the it nice all. The nice shit is like going crazy right now. Yeah, right?